Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. We are in week two of our Entertaining Made Easy Thanksgiving menu series. So this week, I've already showed you how to make Brussels sprouts and spanakopita rolls. Today we will be making an, another side. So instead of making stuffing, which is very popular and I do love, and you could definitely make that on the side, I'm gonna show you how to make a Thanksgiving stuffing style grape leaves. So they're delicious. Now I use, I fill them with the stuffing that my mom makes, the one that I grew up eating. And we did not grow up eating the stuffing made of bread. We use rice in our stuffing and raisins and pine nuts. It's sweet, it's savory, it's so delicious. Today I'm using cranberries, but we'll go over that when we go over the ingredients. And since we're talking about ingredients, let's go over them so we can get started. So in my pan here, I have an onion that I finely chopped and I'm cooking it in some olive oil until it's nice and soft and golden. It's almost there. We need some olive oil, salt, freshly cracked black pepper. Uh, this is a cup of diced tomatoes. Of course, you can pure puree them if you want to or use crushed tomatoes. I have pine nuts, but you can use walnuts, pecans, or even chestnuts. I have some dried cranberries here, but raisins are fine or even dried apricots. And then I have two cloves of garlic. I have some fresh parsley, dried oregano, chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth if you like, fresh mint. This is a pound of ground beef, but you could definitely use lamb or chicken or leave it out if you wanna make it vegetarian. I have some rice over here and I have one 16 ounce jar of grape leaves. These are stored in a brine, so they're really salty. So you wanna make sure that you wash them and you drain them really well. And then of course, we're gonna need some fresh lemon juice. So the onions are almost soft and golden. It takes about eight minutes over medium low heat for them to cook until they're nice and soft. I'm just gonna grate my garlic and then I'm gonna add it to the pan. Just mix it in there. Then go ahead and add the beef and break it up. Now, if you wanted to keep this uh, vegetarian, you can just leave the meat out all together and then you can just dub double the quantities of the raisins or the cranberries and the pine nuts that you were using. If you wanted to even make it a little bit hardier, you can add some chickpeas to this, also known as garbanzo beans, or even cooked lentils. So once the meat starts to brown a little bit, go in and add the tomatoes and increase the heat to high. Let this meat cook, this meat mixture cook for about five to 10 minutes or until the tomatoes really break down and become nice and soft and all of the liquids evaporate. After about 10 minutes, the meat should be perfectly cooked. The tomatoes will have broken down. Make sure go in and give it a taste and adjust the seasoning with some more salt and pepper if it's needed. Now we're gonna go in and add the rice with the cranberries or raisins or whatever dry fruit you're using. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt for the rice because the rice is gonna absorb all of that moisture and the flavor and it does need salt. And I'm gonna add a cup of the broth. I'm also gonna season with a little bit more black pepper and a teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm gonna let this mixture come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for about six or seven minutes or until all of the liquid is absorbed. You don't want the rice to be totally cooked because it is gonna to continue to cook when the grape leaves are cooking later on. So while the rice is cooking with the meat and everything, we're just gonna to toast the pine nuts over medium heat for about four to five minutes or until they're nice and golden and toasted all around. After seven minutes, the, the stuffing will pretty much be ready. Just give it a nice mix. The cranberries or raisins or whatever dry fruit you're using should have, been, should have plumped up really nicely by now. It's gonna plump up even more. And the rice should be half cooked. So now just take it off the heat. And I'm just gonna finally chop my mint and parsley and add it to the stuffing along with the toasted pine nuts. Now when you toast nuts, it really intensifies their flavor. They smell so good. Go ahead and add them to the stuffing, mix everything all together. And now we're gonna set this aside to cool. Now it's time to just prepare the leaves. Other than washing them and drying them really well, all the only thing left to do after that is just to cut off this little stem at the end because that's really tough and it's never gonna cook up to be soft enough to eat. So just snip the ends off. You can do that using a knife or a scissor. So once the stuffing is cool enough to handle, then you're just gonna wanna lay out the grape leaves as many as you can on your work surface. Now, as you see, um, this is the ideal size. I mean, sometimes I open a jar and they all, or at least most of them, look beautiful and big and not torn just like this one. But in this jar, <laughs> and in the one I used last time, you, I, there's a lot of these little small ones. Some of them are torn and these are not gonna be easy to work with. So what I do with those, they're small ones, I just double them up and I'll show you as we fill them. So we're gonna begin with the big one so I, show you, so I can show you how easy it is. 
So you take a tablespoon of filling and you put it on the bottom, you spread it out a little bit, and you just fold the bottom up, fold the sides in, and you just roll up. And you keep folding the sides in so it forms a nice little package, a dalmadaki, like this. This is a little grape leaf. Let me show you the small ones if you have a few of those. So here's a small one. You can definitely put less filling in there if you want. You can just put less filling if you want, like instead of a tablespoon, do a teaspoon. But I feel like that's really not the best solution. And one more thing, you're going to want to uh, fill them on the dull side. So the shiny, so the shiny side should go down. Same thing, lay them next to each other. Fold the bottom up, the sides in, and then you roll up. So I'm going to continue filling these until my stuffing runs out. So I'm done filling and rolling all of the grape leaves. This recipe made about 45 grape leaves. It makes anywhere between 40 to 50 or as little as about 35. It just depends on the quality of the grape leaves. The better the quality is, the more filling you're going to be able to get in and the more filling you're going to be able to get in there. So the bigger ones, generally we're going to tend to put more filling. If, they're, if, the, if the leaves are sort of like the ones that I got today that I had to fight with, you're going to end up putting a little bit less filling so you'll get more. So I'm just going to create a layer of leaves on the bottom. You're going to have lots of leaves left over. And then once that's done, I'm just going to put all the grape leaves that we made on top of those leaves that's going to protect them and you want to make sure you want to make sure you put them seam side down and very snug you know next to each other now you're just going to want to create a layer for the top of them just so that way they can protect them so just go ahead and top them with a layer of the unused grape leaves i'm also going to put two plates inverted on top of that to weigh them down so that way they don't open up while they're cooking i'm going to pour the remaining chicken stock in here you can use vegetable broth if you're keeping it vegetarian and some lemon juice. I'm going to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to cover the pot with the lid, reduce it to low and let it simmer for about 35 minutes or until the rice is perfectly cooked and the grape leaves are nice and tender. I'll show you what that looks like as soon as they're done. So the dolmadas took exactly 35 minutes to cook. Once they're done cooking, make sure you take them off of the heat and then take off the plates, uh, remove the plates that are inverted in there so that way they can start to cool and take out all the excess leaves that are on top as well. Now at this point, you can let them cool down in the pot that they're in. There is gonna be lots of liquid left down there but if as long as they sit in there and they, they cool completely they're going to absorb most of it and you want them to absorb that liquid because there's so much flavor in it and you want them to be nice and juicy the last thing you want to serve is dry grape leaves i've had them and they're not good i can tell you that the great thing about these is as is once they cool down if you have room in your fridge to put this pot in there you can make them three days ahead of thanksgiving or your dinner party then just put the pot in your fridge and just forget about it leave it in there they're gonna the flavors are gonna marry and they're gonna taste even better these are one of those things that taste better the next day and the day after that and the day after that so let them cool in the fridge if you're serving them right away you can go ahead and transfer them onto a serving dish as soon as they've cooled down or the day of your party go ahead and put them on the stove top if there's no more liquid in there go ahead and just pour about a cup of uh, chicken broth in there and let it simmer on very low heat until they're nice and warm these do taste very good warm and all of those instructions are going to be in the ebook so don't worry about it make some tzatziki because these are amazing with tzatziki also decorate the serving plate with some uh, lemon wedges too because lemon tastes so good with this i'm going to go in and take a bite so moist so juicy the pine nuts taste buttery in here so don't leave them out if you can get them and if they're not crazy expensive, make sure you add them. The cranberries add the perfect amount of sweetness. I love the leaf, the brininess from the leaves and the lemon, the hint of lemon in the broth is so delicious. You guys are definitely gonna love these. Go on over to the website, DemetriusDishes.com. Download this ebook. This recipe is in the ebook, not on the website, so, so that way there's no confusion. Download the ebook, start practicing now. There's still a few weeks ahead before the big day. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of these delicious recipes. Stay tuned because tomorrow I'm going to teach you how to make my lemony roasted potatoes that are going to be perfect with this whole menu. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you all next time. Yes,